situation was playing itself out? Man, it was crazy. Um, I didn't really think it was a possibility, to be honest. Um, you know, all the talk and everyone, you know, everything surrounding it, obviously, you know, he, uh, I tried to stay out of it as much as I could. I, that, that was his thing, you know, he, he earned all that. Um, but it was, uh, it was hard to ignore, you know, if everyone was asking me, like, I, you know, how do you imagine, you know, playing, not playing with him and stuff like that? And it was, you know, I had, I had been working out with him at the time. And it hadn't sunk in really yet. And I was just like, man, it's gonna be kind of kind of weird us not playing together, stuff like that. But um, yeah, he's with us, so <laughs> his head is, is dope, it's so dope. How much well, were you able to keep in contact with him as that was going on? Um, you know, I, I, like I said, like I was like I was working out at the time. We were, you know, every morning, you know, he was on, you know, he was on the phone, you know, doing, you know, going through it while we were working out, but. Uh, I try to stay out of it as much as I could. You know, I think I, I sent I sent him a text. You know, when it was like started going down, and I was just like, man, it's gonna be weird, like uh, not playing with you. And like, cause everyone was, you know, was telling me like, man, have you thought about it yet? And I really, you know, I I, I thought about it, but I hadn't really processed it at that, at that time. And um, everybody was just like, you know, kind of on me, you know, about about it. So I sent him a text. You know, hey, it's gonna be weird not playing with you. And then he was like, oh, uh, just, just wait a second. And I was like. Oh. <laughs> See? So I mean, everything kind of played out how it did, and uh, man, it could have been could be happier. Does it change your perspective of free agency at all? Seeing that, seeing a guy who had you know taken a lot more money to go somewhere else and decided he wanted to take less money to stay here and system he's comfortable in, you usually see guys run towards the money. And it seems like you kind of went the other yeah, way. you know, um, you know, I've, I've I've been working out with AB since uh, you know we were like freshmen in college. You know what I mean? Like we work out partners. You know, not just you know in the same weight room. But uh, you know, you always want the best. You know, you want. You know, I, I want. You know, I wanted to see him. You know, get that big payday. You know, I wanted to see him. Um, you know, get what he is, he's earned. So it's you know, for him to you know take a step back and, and realize you know, you know what truly makes him happy. You know what I mean? That's 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 huge. You know what I mean? I feel like it's that's a it just shows you a lot about you know him. You know, and, and our team and, and you know the kind of guys we got. Did you see signs about him struggling, you know, with the decision as it as it was coming up? Um, you know, it's a stressful situation. You know, what I mean, like, you, you know, obviously there's a lot of money involved. That's just, you know, you know, coming from, you know, you know, where he comes from and you know where we come from. You know, a lot of people have never seen that kind of money and never dealt with that thing. And it's financial security for the rest of your life. You know, your, your family, you know, everything. So you know that, that obviously comes into play. You know, but there's a lot of other things. You know. Picking up, moving, you know, coming to a new, whole new situation. So, you know, I can, I can, I don't know what that was like because I, you know, I didn't go through it like that. But um, I can understand that a little bit, you know, why that would be nerve wracking. Eric, you've seen a lot of guys take deals that certainly have paid them well, but maybe could have made more on the open market to stay here. What has it been about keeping this group together that you think has led guys to do that? Man, um, I wish I could just, you know, just give you a direct answer, but. You know what I mean? We we just I feel like we just love playing with each other. You know, we know what kind of we know what kind of uh, group we have. Uh, we know you know we have each other's backs. And uh, you know I mean I, I took a trip with a lot of these guys, like a lot of trips with these guys in the off season, and we just enjoy being together, working together, and we know what you know we know what we're all chasing. You know, um, and I and I feel like that's just you know it, it's, it says a lot. You know, it says a lot about what we got. What was Tokyo like? It was sweet. Tokyo was definitely, you know, an experience. You know, um, growing up in Fresno, you know, I always dreamed about going to all these places and stuff like that. And uh, now I'm fortunate to go. And uh, I mean, there's beautiful people everywhere. And I think one thing we always forget is, you know, we're way more alike than we than we are different. So uh, when you go to places like, you know, Tokyo and, and places that I, I've been able to travel, I, I get that perspective. You know, that we're all much more similar than we are different. Harrison made the mention that the off season just seemed to drag for him, especially when you don't make the playoffs. So how did the offseason go for you aside from taking trips? Yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely hard, you know, you see everybody in the playoffs and, you know, chasing chasing the Super Bowl, you know, it's obviously something that, we, you know, we want. Um, so, you know, that definitely sucks. Um, you know, um, but it also gives you a chance to reflect on, you know, yourself, you know, your, your, your own performance a little bit and, you know, what you could have done a little bit better, you know, as well as what the team could have done better. And, uh, you know, you start, you know, those last couple, you know, weeks, you start, okay, it's time to get back, you know, Get back here, you know, with, with the guys, and and put that work in, you know, create that team chemistry, and and just just get the ball rolling again. So it's definitely time to be be back together. I'm happy to be here. How tough was it for you to miss time at the end of the year, not be able to help your guys, and then 
Does that make you even more eager to get back in the building? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, I thought, you know, if we, you know, we made the playoffs and we took, had a little run, you know, I thought I'd maybe be able to come back and contribute. But, you know, for it to end like that, you know, it was just, it was weird for me. You know, um, it was kind of an abrupt thing, kind of like an unex very unexpected um, when it happened. Um, definitely sucked, but, um, you know, that's why I've been, you know, working and, and, and training. And I hope we read that, you yeah. With Anthony, how different would this defense have been? Like, how, how do you envision it would have changed without him? I don't know. You know, um, it's something that you know I had the luxury of you know not having to think about <laughs> now. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. You know, um, it definitely crossed my mind a little bit. Uh, you know, he's very. You know, me and him. I guess we've been playing together for you know so, so long. It's hard to ignore. So it definitely, you know, that definitely crossed my mind. You know. Um, not only for him to restart, but for me to restart in a sense, you know, um, get used to you know, communicating with somebody in, 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 in that sense, you know, where we have been communicating uh, for a while. So um, it was definitely, you know, weird to think about. Are you, I don't want to put, do you feel like you're a big reason he stayed? I mean, it's not just me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I mean, you got that bond with him now. We got we got a bond, you know. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm not I'm not a part of it, but you know, but I feel like this is this defense, you know, just a lot of people on this defense, you know, we're just we're just like this, and um, you know, there's a lot of factors, you know, that come involved with that, and I just you know, that's my that's my boy at the end of the day, and I just want to be happy. So I'm glad that you know he made a decision that's gonna truly make him happy. Eric, you've been through a couple of these OTAs now through the years. How did you approach them? Did you change? Did you take them more seriously? Just kind of going through these, what you've learned going into this week. Yeah, I learned that you know um, it's obviously not season. You know, you know, you know, your, your foot is not completely on the gas pedal. You know, but you do take time to reflect on, you know, mistakes you made the, the year prior. You know what I mean? How the game is kind of changing. You know, plays that the offenses do. You know, just just you know, team statistics and where we need to focus on and how we need to get better, and uh, just refining our, our little techniques, getting stronger in the weight room. Um, you know, what I mean, like it's just. You, you're here to get better, so um, you know I don't step through that door ever. I don't, I don't plan to get better, and I don't step through with a smile on my face either. Thanks, everyone.